Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode. As you can see, I have the power bank right in front of me, which is the, I think the way you say it is the inner, inner wow. <laughs> I think that's how you say the name. But this is the power bank. I wanted to do a revisit on this power bank and tell you guys how it's performing and if you should get it. Because this is a true honest, I guess, after we view. This is the 50,000 milliamp power bank. Well, I have not tested the actual battery milliamp to see if it's really 50,000. But from what I've seen, it's either it's 50,000 or it's close to that 50,000. Because... This thing is a beast. I am being honest, totally honest with you guys. It's a beast. Because I will explain to you why I believe it's a beast. But first, the model I have, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, the P500 power bank. It's very tiny. But, and actually I'm weak. Recording the video using this power bank with my DSLR. So this thing is a beast. So a couple things. The positive things about this first is the battery lasts so long on this. I bought this in October 25th of last year. And we in May. It's been seven months, almost, it's, a, it's approaching a year, basically. And this thing is still performing great. That's the biggest positive for me is the battery life or the standby battery life is great on this. And second positive, it has multiple ports so you can charge multiple devices at once. You got a macro port right here. You got like four other ports, type C way right here. Yeah, you have a type C way right here. And then you got like three USB A ports. I'm using one of them right now as we speak. And then that's pretty much it. Nothing else. It looks a little beat up because I've dropped it a couple times. <laughs> And it has that LCD to show you the battery percentage. So that's the second big positive. It has multiple ports. I would say third positive, though it has a 30 watt built-in in there, it's still fast enough to charge your devices. But keep in mind, if you're charging multiple devices at once, the speed reduce, of course. It reduced to a lower power but if you're charging a single device then you get that fast speed which is great so you just have to keep that in mind and then let me see I would say last positive about this it's it's strong like I've dropped this this thing still works great after I've dropped it it's really strong and the way it built even though it's plastic but it's like well built it's like super hard hard plastic so yeah keep that in mind and then for negative <laughs> I don't know if there's really negative stuff I could say about this because I know it's heavy but is that really a negative? If you want 50,000 milliamp, it has to be heavy. It's going to be heavy. So I don't really want to say this is a negative. And then mm, I don't really have much negative about this to share. I really don't, honestly. I would say because it's heavy, but that's up to you. I'm not going to say this is negative. So here's why I think this is great. So when I first bought this, this is true story. 
I think it came with 50% battery. So I charged it to all the way 100. And then after I charged it, I took it out and went and record. I was doing, I think, some live stream and doing some video recording. I was charging multiple devices. And I was doing that for more than, I think, more than three hours, if I remember correctly. Out of that 100, when I was done, the battery left was 90%. So 90%, so I came back home and put it back in my bag, kept it in there for several months, for like two or three months. And I went and grabbed it out of the bag and then checked the battery. And then I pressed the power button to check the battery. Because that's how you can check when it's off. You press this little power on and then it'll display on here. The battery was still showing 90%. After several months of not using it, leaving it in the bag. It wasn't in a hot place, so that's a good thing as well. But just to tell you that the standby battery on this is crazy great. And... To add on top of that, that 90% that it had, I, I didn't use it for several months again. And then I grabbed it and started using it recently. And it's finally dropping to 83, 82 right now from that 90. I've been using it, recording this video. So this is a, an amazing battery bank. I just wanted to share this with you guys because you should get one of these if you want great battery life get one of these you will not be disappointed at all so this is a great equipment so i just wanted to make this follow-up video for you guys so you guys know if if it's really worth getting it it is worth getting it has usb c it has usb a and it has a macro as well if you have devices that support only macro you have pretty much all the stuff you need from this so thank you guys for watching this is amazing i don't have nothing else bad to say about this and it's not super expensive at all i believe it was let me check on amazon it's on sale for 39 bucks with 40 percent off i'll put the link down if you want the 40 percent off because it was 50 bucks when i bought it i believe but anyways you can charge a lot of devices on this so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one let me know if you have any more questions i'll try to answer them for you you guys take care have a good one oh one more thing you're probably wondering how fast does it charge things it depends on the device you're using and of course if it's only one device because on the website it says it can like fast charge like an iPhone to 55% in just 30 minutes. But also it depends on the cable you're using because there are certain cables that are fast. There are cables that are slow. So make sure you have a cable that transmits fast data. Thank you once again. You guys take care. You guys have a good one. All right. Bye.